So here's a big fat stat. In 2016, all furniture and home furnishing store sales in the US amounted to around $111 billion. Furniture's big league business, man, and it's propped up by a woodworking industry which predates even metalwork, which wasn't possible until our village elders learned how to rub stuff together to light a fire. But woodworking dates back to the earliest points in human civilization, with one of the first ever known human articles being a 400,000 year old wooden spear tip found over here in Great Brexit. But of course, things have changed just a little bit since then. We're in an age now of computer-aided digital prototyping, additive manufacturing, generative design, and the woodworking industry has by no means been left in the dark ages. It's got its own innovative pioneers doing their bit in keeping the industry modernised and in tune with current trends, such as the European Autodesk reseller and developer Chelly APS. And well, they reached out and asked to sponsor a video on their product Woodwork for Inventor. But this isn't just your regular sponsored video with the obligatory discount code crammed in at the end. Nope, I've struck up a deal with these guys, which if you're into the woodworking industry or furniture design, I think this might just be worth your while sticking around for. You are watching TFI. So what is Woodwork for Inventor? Well, think Inventor's sheet metal module. That's a bolt-on specialised environment with a tailored set of industry-specific productivity tools for the design and the manufacture of sheet metal-based products. And in a similar way, how that's integrated into Inventor, Woodwork for Inventor, is put in in the same way. It's the biggest selling furniture design toolkit for Desk Inventor. It's jam-packed with fully integrated industry-specific automation tools designed by woodworkers for woodworkers. And the product is matured, it's developed, and as I've recently found out, it's highly regarded and extremely capable. And it's being used right now inside hundreds of the world's most forward-thinking and prestigious furniture designers. And I've taken a good look through the client list as well. I went to each reference website and had a poke around at what the clients are doing. And the guys who are using this are doing some absolutely incredible things. But what struck me more was the sheer versatility and the variety of industries that it's being used in. There's like Italian boutique furniture designers, there's residential kitchen suite design and fit, there's commercial shop front fitting, all the way through to large scale turnkey retail rollouts, to name just a few of them. But why? What does this offer that you can't do yourself in Inventor? We all know how, how capable Inventor is a parametric 3D part and assembly design. Fair enough, it can generate a part to this. You can draft drawings, you can export DXFs. So what does this bring to the table? In a way like vanilla AutoCAD, Inventor in some ways is a vanilla engineering based modeling package at its core. And by that, I mean you can take your time and you can model literally anything you want using extrudes, sweeps, fillets. Inventor doesn't particularly care what you do and it'll just give you the solid and the surfacing tools to model up whatever it is you, you want to do. But with Woodwork for Inventor, Chelly APS understand how you work as a woodworker and they, they know what you need and which aspects of the regular modeling workflow would take you the most time to do. And that's what they focused on with Woodwork for Inventor. It's directly integrated inside of Autodesk Inventor into its own separate ribbon suite, which allows it to leverage the familiar design workflows that we've already gotten used to with Inventor. And as a result, They've built woodwork around the skeletal modeling design approach, which is ideally suited for the rapid prototyping nature of panel design. And similar operations found in the likes of frame generator are then utilized within the woodworking environment, such as trim panels, miter panels, with the handy ability there to also clone items for a smarter reuse of existing parts. And one of the primary big hitting major advantages of woodwork is their proprietary iBox technology. And this is where huge time and cost savings begin to become very apparent. The iBox technology is built around the reuse of predefined assemblies with woodworking functionality built into them. So it allows them to stretch, to shrink, and it's all based according to the design conditions that you've set. And users can author or publish their own standard products into the iBox technology, such as this drawer here. You'll probably want, in the end, to build up your own centralized library of iBoxes, and then the iBox assemblies can be snapped onto the skeletal model bounding area, and you can just watch as they shrink or stretch to suit the design parameters. And you can leverage iLogic as well to plug in additional design options per each iBox component. And staying true to its name, Woodwork's highly flexible in its wood material management, allowing you to work with material profiles in length, in volume, and area, and as well as that, it lets you work with cover materials like edge banding, veneer and paint, as well as being optimized for, for multi-layer materials and composites, all of which is implemented with an automated accurate bill of materials in mind. Furniture hardware is also taken care of here, so Woodwork comes with a unified iPart driven standard library of parts with automated component placement, automatic sculpted subtraction for hole fittings and connection joints, along with assembly constraint joint generation for simulated movement and animation. And because the hardware library is unified to industry standards, 
Most supplier hardware components are representable by just one single Woodwork for Inventor library part. And as for that bill of materials, as I'm sure most of you guys know, it's a massively important process which ties computer-aided design and the procurement together. And these guys haven't just leveraged the standard Inventor tools to pass it off as their own here. I mean, there's there's nothing stopping you from using Inventor's bill of materials and what it's got, but why would you when Chelly APS have designed and tailored a bill of materials generation algorithm from the ground up just for this product? And the bill of materials is obviously it's entirely modeled based and driven. It fully supports everything you need it to, such as cut to length parts, edge bandings, it automatically pulls through material quantities and dimensions of the make parts, as well as purchasable items such as hardware. And it gives you estimated total product cost all along the way as well. And as for documentation drones, well, it, it's kind of a funny old world now as we've kind of all become desensitized to the, the wow factor of creating 2D views automatically from 3D parts. So what's next after that? Well, how about just having all of the drones just done for you in one auto plot function? And this isn't just like macro driven 2D view creation. Woodwork will spawn drawings or sheets for every piece part in parent assembly and it'll automatically annotate up the dimensions, label up all the hole positions, call up all the hole tables and it populates all your title box accordingly as well. And yes, this is entirely customizable. The auto plot function is template driven with a stack of proprietary custom settings to tailor this to your requirements. But sure, you're gonna probably have to tidy up a few things and add some extra detailing in and pull a few dimensions around, but this alone could potentially shave hours off the design and drafting process. And almost finally, if you're watching this thinking, yeah, that's uh, it looks, it looks good, fair enough, but they missed a trick not integrating this all into CAM. If it had direct CNC support, the ability to nest pro files on the material sheets for DXF output, then I'd be interested. Well, as it goes, it does. Although do bear in mind that some of the advanced CAM tools require a higher tier product license, but named in honor of the Newcastle United soccer team, there is a tool pool here, which, which of course, your, is your milling and drilling tool database. Built-in post processors gives you direct CNC program output to many widely used systems along with automatic CNC technology generation, which is a one-button solution for generating all CNC profiles for literally everything. Add material usage optimization via nesting, which itself can be automated, and I think on balance, you've got yourself a highly capable design and manufacturing solution for woodworkers made by expert woodworkers. And I think it probably goes without saying at this point that I've barely scratched the surface with, with what this product can do. It's It has oodles more features than what I've mentioned here. So if you sat wondering to yourself, yeah, but I wonder, do, can, can it do this? Or can it, does that, can it do that? You didn't mention this or that. It very well might be able to. Like for example, it's fully tested and supported with Vault Professional and entirely compatible with the Item Master, along with other PDM and ERP systems. The product has been case studied and proven to reduce design time by up to 50%. They released the new product within weeks of Autodesk's platform update and critical product updates can be delivered within 24 hours of them being reported. Technical support's free to all licensed customers and software is available in English, Spanish, German, French, Italian, Polish, and Russian. And they have a, they've they got a global network of 50 reseller partners as well. So yeah, just drop them a quick email and ask what you need. Contact details are in the description of this video and then make sure to let them know that you found their software through this TFI video. And really finally, I said at the very start that I'd struck up a deal with these guys for you guys, which would be worth your while sticking around for. Well, how does a free training course sound just for having watched this video? Yeah, you don't need to buy anything. And I don't mean it's gonna be just a pre-recorded 360p video clip either. This is actual live training from an official Woodwork for Inventors support engineer. And if you're thinking, eh, How's that gonna work? Well, you weren't the only one thinking that. We've been bashing this out for a couple of weeks now and we've come up with a plan. So this is a training session combining both Inventor and Woodwork for Inventor into the same session. Because you could be based in the US or New Zealand as well, the training's gonna be delivered via a live online platform where we can host like a virtual global classroom. The, pr the prerequisites are that you obviously need Inventor installed on your PC, that's kind of a given. You'll need to know the bare basics of Inventor, which you should you should have them down because you're subscribed to me. And then all you need to do is download a trial copy of Woodwork software and make sure it's still within the trial period on the day of the training. And I'll put a link in the description for that as well. There'll be a link in the description of this video which will take you through to a registration page. Simply sign up and once they have enough people registered for the first session, they'll begin to schedule dates and times. It'll probably be split into a few separate sessions of a couple of hours per session, enough to give you the absolute basic on how to get started with woodwork along with some inventor basics as well. Now then, at the moment we've got absolutely no idea how many people are going to sign up for this. There's probably going to be a limit on how many people can be registered per session. So we, we don't really yet know how many groups are going to be scheduled 
until demand has been measured. So all I can say at this point is if you want actual genuine, no strings attached, free online training, register your details through that link in the description, like right now, pause the video now and go and do it. And then just come back, I'll wait here with my unphotogenic face frozen with an ugly expression on it probably. In fact, wait, hang on, I'm just gonna strike a pose and then you can pause. So there we go, I told you that was worth waiting around for. Free training, man, how awesome is that? Uh, if you like this video, do get subscribed if you're not already. Uh, stick around for more inventive content. All the links that I've talked about will be in the description of this video. Thank you again to Chelly APS for reaching out and uh, sponsoring and supporting the channel. And thank you to you guys as well for the support on my channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Toodles. Okay.